Okay, this is Wednesday, day two of the work, and I made a quick stop back by the car so I can do a a parts assessment of parts that I'm going to order to uh, get this thing in a good service condition. I was talking about stage zero it, but I'm not going to do that, but I am going to do as much as I can to make sure that it's in really good condition. So I'm going to order the PVC system, which has a lot of uh, parts in it. For the vacuum, I'm going to order the head gasket, and that's going to be a lot of stuff for it. I'm going to uh, do some timing components. I realized that the timing belt has been changed by looking at the sticker. I can't figure out if it's a 09 or a 04, but the car had about 48,000 miles. The only reason I think a timing belt would have been done at that time is if uh, somebody did it because it was seven years old, which would make sense for an 04 date, or uh, they had a water pump leaking. At any rate, I'm definitely going to do the water pump and grade check these rollers, see if they're serviceable, If and I'm going to service it as if I would give the car to my daughter or keep it myself. So I'm going to replace these hard-to-get coolant hoses, like right here, even though this doesn't seem bad, it's it's a hose that's hard to get to, so I'm going to replace that. Uh, then one of my vacuum tubes broke that I'm probably going to have to go to the dealer for. It was there, short hose, about three, four inches long. It just snapped. It was so brittle when I swung things out of the way. And uh, I think I'm going to go with OEM cam seals and a few other vacuum tubes. Now I'm getting ready to check and see if I need a lower motor mount because I know I need this upper motor mount. It's torn through. The coolant reservoir doesn't have any cracks in it, so I'm probably not going to replace that unless I find a real nice one in the junkyard, which is rare because they're destroying them down there now. And I'm going to take this tensioner off of this uh, belt here, a uh, serpentine belt, and see if that belt has cracks in it. Yeah, it has cracks in it, so I'll order a new serpentine belt. Here's a sticker on that timing belt cover at 48,000. Like I said, I can't make out if that's a, a 504 or a 509. So, and I may even order another one of these stickers for this timing belt cover. See if how much Volvo wants for one of those, since that one is getting worn off for some reason. Wow, someone has a very creative fix to the broken tab on his corner marker light. Looks like they drilled a hole down through the top of the light and this little thing it clips to and drove this wire hanger down in there to hold this corner marker light in place. Not sure if I'll replace that light because of that or not. I'm going to try to go in here and videotape this uh, motor mount to see if it needs replaced. I didn't have the luxury to have the car on jacks, and actually that mount is standing nice and tall and high, so I do not need to replace that mount. Normally if that lower bolt is down against the rubber, the mount is blown out, but this one is evidently good. Decided to check the CV boots, and I can see that this one is torn, so I'll more than likely replace the boot seal on that. And next I'm going to check the brakes and see if I need some brake lines or brake pads. Okay, when I go in here and look at these brake pads and rotors, the rotors are definitely worn. The pads are in pretty worn shape. They look like they may have five, ten thousand miles left on them. So I'm going to check on getting another set of pads and rotors. As you can see, the rear pads are worn pretty pretty bad as well they might have 5,000 miles left on them and these rotors are worn so I'm gonna look at getting another set of pads and rotors for the back as well okay I have a pretty good assessment of all the parts I'm gonna need so I'm gonna go ahead and list them and show you a video clip of the ordering process from one of the vendors <laughs> 